So what is the difference between authentication and authorization? Well, if you look at the NIST definition, so the NIST is the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Uh, it's a US government organization. Then they say authentication is verifying the identity of a user, process or device, often as a prerequisite to allowing access to resources in information system. So I think that's a really nice and concise definition. Let's maybe make a more real world example. Let's say um, you are uh, yeah, on some airport and you're trying to enter a country. And then the person like the border patrol guy is going to take a look at your passport. And essentially what he is doing is some form of authentication. Okay, so he's going to look at the image in your passport. He's going to look at you and then he's going to be like, yeah, okay, you look like the person in the image. Okay, the passport also seems real. Okay, fair enough. Um, then, okay, eye color, height is also fine, and so on. Yeah. So, in that sense, a person at Border Patrol is doing some uh, sort of authentication. Of course, in the IT sense, authentication means that you log in most of the time. Yeah. So, you have an email, you have a password, you click a login, and then the steps that you perform to um, verify that person's identity, meaning you take like the email address, you look up in your database, okay, does this user even exist? And then you uh, look in your database as well at the um, hashed passwords, then you say, okay, like I take the password that you sent uh, to me and I compare it with the hashed passwords, some like bcrypt, sCrypt and so on with what I have in the database. And if both of them match, then I consider this uh, identification to be successful and then I know who you are. So that is like authentication. In authorization, it's the process of verifying that a requested action or service is approved for a specific entity. I really love the definition from this NIST uh, Institute because they are so uh, short and concise. I think that's really impressive. Um, let's maybe also make a real world example of this. I don't know, maybe you've been at uh, such an hotel where they have an elevator and uh, you're only able to access the particular uh, floor where uh, your room is. Yeah, so you have to go into elevator, you have to put like the hold the card on some card reader, and then you are allowed to go to specific floors, or you might not be allowed to, um, to go to the basement or something like that, because that's for for staff only. So that is a form of authorization. Yeah. So are you allowed to perform that particular action? And in order to like determine the authorization, I do not necessarily need to know who you are. Yeah, so the elevator does not need to know that your name is John Smith. It only needs to know that, well, this person is allowed to, I don't know, to go to basement or uh, the person is not allowed to go to basement. And of course, in terms of IT, like if we go uh, back to the IT world from that little me metaphor, it means that you might be logged in. So the, ser uh, the system might have established your identity. It might know who you are but you might not have a particular permission to perform specific actions. Yeah, so for example, if you want to revoke the access of a user to a particular application, then that usually requires some privileged rights. So if you now click on uh, yes, uh, then the system might say, yeah, that's all fine, but technically speaking, you do not have that permission. So that's why you are not authorized to perform this action. So you can be logged in, authenticated, I know your identity, but you might not be authorized to do a particular action. Okay, so that's the difference between uh, authentication and authorization. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.